<laughs> Am I on? No. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, so so inspired by being a suit, I had to look at her rather than the mic. Hi, everybody. I'm Bernice, as you you would all know. I've had an interesting week, you know, chilling away there in the corner, wearing more and more layers every day, complaining to Robert, who's quite heartless, who doesn't, he says, have you tapped on that? Anyway, aside from all that, it was probably about five years ago in what I still say was a moment of temporary insanity, I emailed Robert Smith. I'm coming from an EFT background and some counselling in my work, so I had come across him on Living Energy Secrets, listened to a talk, and I thought, that's really different, and bought the package, started using that in preference to EFT, and it really worked. And I'm, I'm knowing now, I didn't understand a lot about the process, a lot that I know now, but it still worked anyway with my basic knowledge. So I emailed Robert and said, well, I heard he was in Australia. Next time you are in Australia, Robert, why don't you rendezvous past Adelaide with the whole idea being I'll come to his workshop and it did fall into my lap to organise it, which is a big stretch. It, it happened anyway. So sometimes I, I look back at that in the last few years and think, coming from EFT, we ca can make things more complicated because with the other work I've done, you're more accustomed to using a lot of words. So it's really refreshing to know, OK, identify the problem, aim the tapping at that, and then scratch the record of the belief so you don't get it back again. That's just so simple and basic, Robert, it's good. So you lose, use less words with way better results. Now, my other inspiration, aside from Bianca, was Judy's little song thing. So I've spent many a moment doodling there on my pad. I've got like, probably an opera put together by now. I'll share just one with you. Because I thought, this is good. Going along with the tune of I Eat Worms, you could use this with anything. So I've put something here. My, uh, let me see, how does that song go? My point of view is that this work we do is unique and powerful too. I'm confident of that and so I know. It just keeps getting better. That one doesn't quite rhyme, but I have created some great little ones driving in. I had a, a slight accident a few months ago, scraped the side of a car, and it did disturb my confidence, especially when the man, a builder, jumped out of the car, sounded like my ex-husband, goes, this is my new truck, and it was a bit awful. I realised I hadn't tapped for it, so on the way in this morning, I'm tapping for that and giving myself this little song about being a great driver. One of the other mornings, I thought, oh, I'm going to be late, darn it. Oh, well, who cares? I tapped, and so by the time I walked in, I was euphoric, and it didn't even, wouldn't have even mattered to me if Robert had pulled me up in the front, front of everybody and reprimanded me or ridiculed me for being, for being late. It didn't matter. just gives you this great blissful feeling. Now, the one thing I am working on is cold rooms and someone else's preference or point of view that 19 is the coolest temperature around. Actually, for me, it's just more than cool. So just to leave you with a little song from EFT. I learned this years ago, and it's called Amazing Me, sung to Amazing Grace. I like this one. OK. Amazing me, at last I found There's nobody left to blame I'm me, I'm free, and now I know I will never be the same. Thank you.